Head tracking or face tracking is an amazing technique that can significantly enhance your edits, making them stand out compared to others. Creating this in DaVinci Resolve is surprisingly simple. Let me show you how. I have this clip of this guy that I'll use for this tutorial. As you can see, it's a simple clip. To track the head, we need to work in Fusion. First, make sure the playback head is positioned on top of the clip. Then click on the Fusion page icon to open Fusion. Once you're in Fusion, you'll see two nodes, the Media In node, which represents your clip, and the Media Out node, which displays the final result. And also, you might notice two viewers instead of one, but that's not an issue for this tutorial, so don't worry about it. To track the head, we'll need a tracker. DaVinci Resolve offers various trackers, but for this task, we'll use the planar tracker. Click on the media in node, press shift plus space to open the tools menu and search for planar tracker. This one, click to select it, then press on the add button. By default, the planar tracker sets its reference point to the current frame. If I move the playback head slightly, you'll notice a keyframe at that frame, which marks the tracking starting point. However, you may want to set the reference point at a different frame. To do this, move the playback head to the desired frame. For example, I'll start at frame zero. Now go to the inspector panel and locate the reference time option. Click on set, and that's it. You'll notice a keyframe is created at frame zero, indicating that the tracking will now begin from this frame. Now we just need to adjust some settings before we start tracking. The first thing we are going to change is the tracker, which is currently set to point. So, click here and choose hybrid point slash area. This will let us track the point more precisely. Now the next thing we're going to change is its motion type. Change it from perspective to translation, and that's all. Now we just need to mask out the area we want to track. Go to the viewer, and you will see that our cursor has changed to this plus sign which means we can create a mask. If it doesn't change for you, that is because you haven't selected the planar tracker node. So make sure to select it first. You see that the head is not clearly visible, so we need to adjust the view a little. If you hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse, you can pan around. Once you get a clear view, create a mask around the head of your subject. You don't have to be precise with this. Just make sure to cover the area nicely and close the mask by clicking on the first point again. Now to begin the tracking, go to the inspector, and here you will see tracking. Click on this track to end button, and it will start tracking the head or the face of your character. For me, it's going pretty well. The mask didn't move at all. But in case it moves for you, then you can stop the tracking by clicking on this middle button. You will see these keyframes. Go to the keyframe where mask begin to move and adjust it as needed. Once done, click on the track to end button again. I don't need to change anything, so I will undo this and resume the tracking. Once the tracking is done, we will have the timeline filled with keyframes. Now, we have just collected the data, but in order to create the effect we want, we need to stabilize it. To do so, go to the inspector again and you will see Operation Mode, which is set to Track. Click here and change it to Stabilize, and that's all. You will see the clip has moved a little, and we have these new options. There's no need to change anything, but if you want, you can adjust the smoothing radius a little bit depending on your clip. I will keep it default. Then here you will see this button, called Compute Stabilization. Simply click on it to apply and save the stabilization. Let me close this pop-up. Now we have a little problem. If I play the clip a little, you will see that we can see the checkerboard as our clip has moved after stabilization. To fix this, go to the inspector, and at the bottom, you will see this frame mode, which is currently set to full. Change it to crop or zoom. You can choose whichever you like. As for me, I will go with crop. Now if I scroll a little, you will see this button called Auto Crop. Simply click on it, and that's all. It will fix the issue. Now let's play the clip and check it out. 
Well, preview is kind of lagging, but the effect is working perfectly. We will preview it in edit page, so let me stop it for now and show you something real quick. If you want to add a text that will follow the tracking, you can do that. First, drag the planar tracker around here because we need to add the text node before it. Okay, now click on the media in node and add the text plus node from here. Rearrange the nodes properly, then simply type something. I'll type checking phone. Choose the font of your choice and also decide how you want it to look. All right, let me quickly do some adjustments. I've positioned it here, changed its size, and also added a drop shadow. Now let's go to the edit page and play this since it will lag here. Well, as you can see our head tracking is working perfectly fine and the text is also following the movement. All right, we are done for today. See ya.